His successors would go on to continue his conquests, creating the largest land empire in history and conquering lands in Russia, the rest of China, and the Middle East. Learn English in a fun, easy new way here at Infinite English Shorts. Genghis Khan is remembered as history's greatest conqueror. He unified the disparate nomadic tribes of Mongolia into a unified force of unmatched warriors and then led them on a military campaign across the Eurasian continent, conquering the steppes of Central Asia, Northern China, and Northern Persia. His successors would go on to continue his conquests, creating the largest land empire in history and conquering lands in Russia, the rest of China, and the Middle East. Genghis Khan is remembered as history's greatest conqueror. He unified the disparate nomadic tribes of Mongolia into a unified force of unmatched warriors. A conqueror is a person who takes control of a place or people with force. Unified. Make or become joined for a common purpose. Disparate nomadic tribes of Mongolia. Let's break this down. Disparate means basically different from each other with little or no connection. Nomadic is when a people or person constantly travels or moves the place where they live. And tribe, a society consisting of families or communities linked by language, social and religious customs, as well as culture, and typically having a single recognized leader. So, disparate nomadic tribes of Mongolia means small communities or societies in Mongolia that moved from place to place and weren't really connected by much. And then led them on a military campaign across the Eurasian continent, conquering the steppes of Central Asia, Northern China, and Northern Persia. The Eurasian continent is basically land area made up of Europe and Asia. We call that Eurasian conquering the steppes of Central Asia. Let's break it down. To conquer means to control or defeat a people or large area. Steppes, spelled S-T-E-P-P-E, -E, are large areas of flat, unforested, grassland, usually in southeastern Europe or Siberia. We call those the steppes of Central Asia. His successors would go on to continue his conquests, creating the largest land empire in history and conquering lands in Russia, the rest of China, and the Middle East. Conquest the defeat and control of a place or people by use of military force. Empire, a widespread group of states or countries under a single supreme authority, power, or leader. Another example of this could be the Roman Empire. Infinite English Shorts are just small examples of what you can learn on our website. Isn't that right, Franco? That's right, Tom. I've been learning English for some time now, and I finally found a method that actually works. It's helped me become a fluent English speaker. And now, I want to share that method with you. You can check out our website and a full video in the description. 
Descendants of Genghis would famously create their own empires, including Timur and Babur, who founded the Timurid and Mughal empires, respectively. Nobody is immortal, at least not yet. Still waiting on that scientists, come on. And as such, Genghis Khan died in August of the year 1227. We don't know exactly how he died. Could have been illness, injuries from hunting, killed in battle, or simply passing away quietly in his sleep. Descendants of Genghis would famously create their own empires, including Timur and Babur, who founded the Timurid and Mughal empires, respectively. Descendants. A person, plant, or animal. But in this case, we're talking about a person or people that are related to a particular ancestor, to a particular person. Here, we're talking about Genghis Khan. Nobody is immortal, at least not yet. Still waiting on that, scientists. Come on. Immortal. Living forever. Never dying or decaying. Staying the same forever. His body was taken back to Mongolia, where a giant mausoleum was constructed as his tomb, becoming a place of reverence for Mongols everywhere, a fitting resting place for the great Khan. At least, it might have been, if that's where he was actually buried. Because this mausoleum isn't actually Genghis Khan's resting place. It's a memorial, but it's not a tomb. So where was Genghis Khan buried? To put it simply, no idea. Genghis Khan requested for his body to be buried quietly, without any markings or signs. Since you don't disobey the Great Khan even when he's dead, he... His body was taken back to Mongolia, where a giant mausoleum was constructed as his tomb, becoming a place of reverence for Mongols everywhere. A mausoleum. A building, usually a large and grand one, Housing a tomb or tombs. A tomb. A large vault. Typically an underground one for burying the dead. Reverence. Having deep respect for someone or something. Because this mausoleum isn't actually Genghis Khan's resting place. It's a memorial, but it's not a tomb. Memorial. Something, especially a structure, established to remind people of a person or event. Genghis Khan requested for his body to be buried quietly, without any markings or signs, since you don't disobey the Great Khan even when he's dead. Disobey. To disobey means to fail to follow rules, a command, or someone in authority. If you liked that video, then please click the like button. Go ahead and subscribe to our channel and leave us a comment in the comment section below.